today's video, I'll be talking about a 4K video editing setup for not one, but a team of three to four video editors using a QNAP server. So QNAP and Seagate send the NAS device, Ironwolf Pro hard drives and NVMEs to help bringing this video together. I do not have any input or preview discussions about the review and video with them. So first and foremost, the QNAP server itself. This right here is the QNAP 472 XT. Apart from the specs shown on screen, what this mainly offers are four bays for four hard drives, two caching slots for M.2 NVMe SSDs to further speed up read and write speeds, a 10 gig Ethernet port and two Thunderbolt 3 ports. This is an all-in-one solution. So besides its utility as a server for video editors, it can allow you to create backups. You can create servers and access data from anywhere over the internet and even manage a complete video surveillance system with its eight free IP channels. Now to fill this NAS with storage, I'm using Seagate's Ironwolf Pro hard drive for NAS. And since I've been using these for quite a while now, it's a no-brainer, mainly because of its IHM which means it's specifically designed for NAS servers. It keeps an eye on your disk, workloads, the shock, the temperature, and maintain health parameters for all the data that is being stored on the drive. And if there is a failure, you're covered with its included two years data recovery service. So I have four of these 10 terabyte hard drives. So one of these will work as a redundant hard drive for a single disk failure protection. Now to speed things up, I installed two Ironwolf Pro 510 NVMe SSDs. Each of these have a capacity of 480 GB. And if there is a failure, you're covered with its three years of data recovery service. So QNAP and storage out of the way. Now I've heard that the QNAP servers are not as easy to install and set up, but that really doesn't seem like the case. Right? It took me around two to three minutes to get online and have my QNAP set up. I'll drop the links to setup guides in the description. Those will help you get a little bit more understanding of what this QNAP can offer and how you can settle it up into your own working environment. But for the video editing needs, all I mainly needed was to download and run QFinder Pro. That detects my server, which is connected to the router. I created a storage pool and then some volumes, which is just like our C and D drives on our computers and laptops. I chose RAID 5 setup for four of my Ironwolf Pro hard drives. Then comes the point where I have to add SSD caching. And here I added two Ironwolf Pro NVMe drives, choosing RAID 1. That in simple term means in case one of the SSD fails, I have another one to safe keep the data while it's reading or writing it to the drive. Once that is out of the way, I created a couple of shared folders, connected some computers, and there I have it ready and all working. Now using Thunderbolt was straightforward. You simply just connect your laptop or PC with the Thunderbolt cable, go to the settings network and virtual switch and verify that the Thunderbolt is working. Now the QFinder Pro should be showing you the Thunderbolt connection there that you can use to connect to the drives which are present on your network and on your QNAP. I was able to get write speeds on conventional Ethernet cable around 110 megabytes per second and about 2.5 times more speed using the Thunderbolt 3 cable. All of this setup is enough to cater video editing needs for up to four people working on full HD footage. Scrubbing through video real-time playback is just working fine. Now for 4K real-time editing and playback, the current configuration on my QNAP can accommodate two people fairly, and that's due to the Ironwolf Pro NVMe SSD caching, which I would like to explain a little bit. Clearly, the read and write speeds are not enough for multiple video editors working on 4K footage over network storage. This is exactly where the SSD cache plays its part. Generally, my video project is taking around 200 GB. And if two of us are working on a 4K footage, there is enough cache present to read and write up to 500 GB of data, and therefore allowing us to work on full resolution using a Thunderbolt connection. So if you're planning to set up an affordable shared solution for a small team of video editors connected over a network and working on full HD or 4K videos, then this NAS coming for a little over $1,200 can be a solution you can consider. So apart from QNAP software offerings, I should mention the flexibility of the ports that this NAS offers is immense. The expansion in terms of RAM and a PCIe slot is also a plus. So that's everything I felt necessary sharing about the 4K video editing server solution using the QNAP 472 XT and Ironwolf Pro storage. If you'd like me to review QNAP in detail or discuss Ironwolf storage, then do mention it in the comments and I'll try to arrange a video for you guys. So I hope you find this video useful. 
If you like what you see, then a like and subs would be appreciated. I'll see you with a new video soon. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out.